Hello, hello, my name's John Wright, and you know I'm right here behind my sophisticated camera system. God damn it, you're not supposed to see this one. It's not supposed to be in the view. But here I am. There should I should I put on these so you recognize me? Because I'll tell you what, I held this right up there in front of a sheriff's off a sheriff just a few minutes ago. Not too long ago, right about well, within the hour, I'll tell you that one right now. And I still sit here, and you know what? I hope he takes what I said to heart about that bowling alley in Morton, Washington, being named Millhouse Smokehouse, named after Richard Millhouse Nixon. And I asked him if he was a Republican. You know, I told him to his face, I am empowering you to be a hero and not a zero. I'll tell you what, I told him, I am empowering you to be a hero and go do your job. And I told him where Jerry Wright was. I told him about Bruce Kimsey. I told about that bowling alley. And I said, my name is John T. Wright. And I've got over 300 videos on YouTube. And if anybody out there would like to bombard the White House to have Doug come out. Man, Doug's just great because Doug's an attorney. And you know what? I would, I would enjoy talking to Doug because usually I don't go... I just don't go to a woman first, and I'm not being fucking prejudiced against the woman. It's the fact is that Doug's it's his wife, and I don't want to offend her by my language. I'm sure Doug has heard somebody talk like I have before. I talk very goddamn direct, and I goddamn am not going to mince any fucking words. And I did not mince any words to that law enforcement officer, he found out that I was goddamn fucking direct to him. And I goddamn told him that I empower him to do what's right and not what's wrong. He told me, he says, you should be proud. Your dad is a hero. My dad was nothing more than a slave next to that goddamn cemetery in Morton, Washington. I never went to the goddamn details. I told him the stories are all on YouTube. Read my name. Look at my goddamn face. I said, don't I look like the guy? And he said, yes, you do. And I said, what's the goddamn odds I'd be here? I think if I didn't say that, I meant to say that. But I goddamn affirm that he said yes. It was. Did I ask him? Yes. Did he reply? Yes, he did. And he affirmed it. I do not want anybody to mix messages. That sheriff right here... The first time coming face to face with me, identified me as the fucking hijacker or the hijacker's son. And I told him right where the Cooper was on the Middle Fork Road. And I expect Jerry Wright to be goddamn arrested, goddamn ASP, one fucking two three. And I really mean it, America. You know what? This has to do with Hezbollah. This has to do with the Middle East. I never got into it that deep. Oh, no, I didn't. He was here for Kevin Baker, my nephew. And the last time they came for Kevin ne Baker, they put him in jail for trumped-up charges during the, what? The bombing of the Hezbollah in the Middle East. And look, the ship just happened yesterday. I'm complaining about today. The sheriff's here today, by the way. The signs are out there. He goddamn knows I am who I am when I'm talking to him, to his face. And I'll tell you what, it's goddamn healing when somebody's been fucking abused like me, but for that goddamn sheriff to fucking not do his goddamn job is not acceptable. And I will be filing a goddamn complaint against him. And I am pissed. I'm sorry if I get goddamn there. But you know what? For somebody that's not military, you better goddamn know that I will talk to you like I'm goddamn military when it comes goddamn to it. You know why? Because I've been raised in such a goddamn way. Against my fucking will. And I think every American for um, anything kind that I've ever heard. The kind woman that left, that gave me jewelry from the Middle East. You know what? These cops have done a lot of goddamn dirty things. You know what? I told that guy he could be a fucking hero. I'm empowering him to be a goddamn hero. And by the way, I got his name. Because they're supposed to be on papers over at Kevin Baker's house. He was here today at 3 p.m. 
Hey, I, by, by 307, 310, I was back over here. I had direct talks with him. I didn't go out there and argue with him, but I sure did size him up. He's a pretty good sized guy. Go out there and give him a goddamn look just like this and just tell him how the facts are. You know what? That's what I mean. I will goddamn tell somebody what the goddamn facts is now that I fucking feel relieved of it. And by the way, Donald Trump, I talked to him about Donald Trump. I said, and you know what? He's a supporter of Donald Trump. He's a part of the problem, not a part of the solution. If he will not do his job, he says, I will not talk politics during work. Well, that's a good goddamn way of fucking saying, I am a Republican. I don't want to take it. And I will not fucking go. Do, uh, 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 that was definitely a back pill. He had an opportunity to meet the hijacker's son after all these years. Goddamn, you know, you would spend a little more time instead of going, geez, your, dad's a, your dad must be a, a hero. You know what? I goddamn came right down on that fucking cop. I shook his hand even when I went out there. How dare him! And he knows it, and he should be goddamn ashamed. But then again, at the same time, he took in all the information, and he watched how hot I goddamn was. So he probably knows I fucking goddamn meant business, and he better goddamn know it too. And I told him where my YouTube was, and if he doesn't think I won't upload this to make sure somebody don't brother, shove up his ass... I'm the proctologist, and when my family leans on me, I'm going to lean on everyone else, and when it's the cops, I goddamn don't care if you got a goddamn gun, come down and shoot me. You son of a bitches are dirty, and you kill me, and you know what? Everybody knows it's you anyway. You stink. They're selling pulled pork in the Morton Bowling Alley. They fucking got pictures on the goddamn internet. You just got a goddamn look. There's evidence all over if you just know how to get there and what to look for. Thank you for your time, America. My name's John Wright, and I am so sincere when I say that I love America. The worst thing I ever goddamn did was pulled up a gun on a friend of mine because he was out there fucking taunting me because my dad hijacked it. They put a, the, hi, the, the hijacker's car was in the driveway. My dad came down there and ended up cutting it in half. They broke out the back window. My brother Jerry did. Jacked it up, make hijacker, broke out the back window, goddamn, all this sort of stuff. My dad was down there. They forced me and my dad to comply or we goddamn would have died and people around us. Thank you for your time, you guys. This is about the Zodiac Killer. This is about D.B. Cooper. This is about John F. Kennedy. And this is about the Republican red goddamn rum bullshit and those Lewis County law enforcement officers and any of the Republicans officers. If you goddamn got a goddamn problem, you think D.B. Cooper's dad was a goddamn hero? Do you think the Zodiac Killer was the hero? How would you like to have goddamn dinner with me and have me have a goddamn grudge with you over my dad? I don't think you want to eat my goddamn red spaghetti. I don't think you want to be rolled up in a carpet. I don't think you want to be beaten. I don't think you want to listen to The Lights Went Out in Georgia by Helen Reddy. I don't think you want to hear the big band fucking music of Glenn Miller on a furnace and have your friend murdered upstairs to goddamn listen to this goddamn shit like this son of a I'm not going to go there. He may have taken in all that information. My girlfriend had her hands cut off. Morton Jane Doe over that goddamn bowling alley that has a saw on it. I protect women. I protect women's rights. For God's sakes, I'd never want a man to abuse you. And I'd never want a man not to be... Here, it keeps everybody good if everyone has rights. Men and women. They both should have goddamn equal rights under law. You know what, like Martin Luther King said, I would like to see a time, I think that's what he said, I was very young, when you are not judged by your color, but by your deeds alone. Just think. Thank you for your time, and you have a great day. Thank you for your time. My name's John Wright, they're not, and you know what, I'd like to have a, a goddamn iron glove match. Just stick an iron glove on that and say, Jerry, Jim, Whoever, Bruce Kimsey, let's goddamn get in the ring. Whoever gets the iron glove gets to beat the fuck out of the other person. Let's do it. And by the way, just because you get the iron glove doesn't mean you win. You went for the iron glove and I hurt you between here and there. Goddamn, it's beautiful, isn't it? Come see me. I'll break you when I can. Thank you for your time and you have a great day. My name's John Wright and they are not.